there was an important case in Australia whereby Aboriginal people could lay claim to their land since they did not have Western law denotators of ownership, deeds, and same such, they presented paintings as evidence. The paintings represent different territories. And the, I mean, there are ritual paintings which are often executed on the floor. Something called the dream, which has to do with stories associated with, with specific territories. So, it's a storytelling and visual art to lay claim to, to property against the colonial oppressors or occupiers. These peoples made also a statement saying it is impossible that one of us could make a claim in the property of the other. You can only tell the story of your own land. Autobiography could mean a self-portrait in time. There's not such a thing as an isolated self. A self is a public subject, a political subject. Moreover, an, an artist inevitably has to become a persona. You have to create a character of who you are as an actor or it will be created for you. It's best to lay claim to that and to try to work with that. And in, in keeping with with the statements made by the Aboriginals to, to lay claim to their own land, I think that if you tell your own story or who you are, there's only being with the other. So you have to tell the story of your life. The root of that is fundamentally existentialism, which was the philosophy of the prior generation to me, my parents. But, you know, we only know who we are in the gaze of the other. So that's the leap between self-portrait and autobiography. So the, the constant element or the constant material, and you ask me about self-portrait and autobiography, the ultimate self-portrait is if you treat your subject as an object. If you can take your own body and your own voice and use them as a material or an element and try to take them somewhere. So I train myself in disciplines such as uh, exercises in right hand therapy or laughter yoga or I mean psychoanalysis itself is a discipline and by choosing not to only have language or a voice it is uh, certainly a, a discipline that has been learned so in, in that sense the ultimate material there is me myself my own body that's where a self-portrait and an autobiography come together and, and that's why there is a performatic axis that runs through my work. Self-portrait with cucumber. Ah! <laughs>